talking about that and going back to Love Island, indeed I'm a celeb for yourself, but Love Island particularly, it does seem that our men, our young guys, are very keen just to keep everything very well groomed. Look at them there. Yeah. It's insane, like, and that is so much work to look like that. Like, that's, mm. it's incredible, and I think that they, I, it's, there's a lot of pressure on people now. I well, think, did you feel but, it before going into the jungle? Because, like, obviously you're going to walk around with your shirt off for 90% yeah. of the time. So did you go to the gym and really try and buff up a bit because you thought everyone's going to be looking? I kind <laughs> of, I suppose I did. But I, I wasn't really that conscious of it. I, I tried to... I was kind of... I, I used to go to the gym every day anyway, and then you just... Every eat. day? Yeah, I just... <laughs> <laughs> before Hannah, I was a very lonely man. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so yeah, I just kind of, I just kind of enjoy it because of my job. It doesn't really have much of a sort of routine. So that for me is my routine. I do that every day, and I really, I really enjoy it. I generally, actually, I do it with what's my wrong with it? Because you, you're fit and healthy, isn't that a good thing? Yeah, and I think a lot of people that don't enjoy the gym, that's absolutely fine. Don't go. Do something else. Like, ah, I'm not there's, one of. <laughs> there's, there's so much. There's so many different things to keep fit now. Like you don't have to go to somewhere and be like, oh, I hate this so much. You can go to play squash, play tennis. Like just keep active. Just walk more. Like there's so much stuff. I think there's so much pressure on people, men especially now, because of the Geordie Shore, Love Island. Like even like people in the jungle and stuff, to sort of look massive. And I, I think it's. And that's also bad because like, now people are taking steroids as well now, a lot more yeah, no, than they used to. And that's no. like, no. they're trying to get a quick fix and it's so bad. And um, so I think there's obviously a lot of pressure on women to, to look a certain way. And, but for men now, it's kind of weirdly catching up a little bit. And, and, and of course, you've got to get to, what is it, number 37? What was your book you wrote about? What I'm, was it you, I'm your... currently, I'm, <laughs> this is, so I'm writing a book. And uh, basically, when my teenage my teenage diary that I found about three years ago, and in it it says, uh, I don't want to have sex with more than 40 people. And you're it's... up to 36, aren't you, love? I'm on. <laughs> yeah. And I found it. When I found it, I was on 36, and I was like, How OK, do I'm you know? Fight. How do you keep note of all these people? Have you got a diary that you got all their names down in? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't. Um... But in your head, you know that many. Uh, exactly. And, <laughs> and you were 35, and it was... <laughs> I'm sorry I moved on to 36, Linda. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it's mad, like, I, th I think that's, like, an, a kind of an OK number. <laughs> like, I don't think it's too high, I don't think it's too small. I feel like... So is I... Hannah 36? Uh, you'll have to read the book and find out. 